with a big pot on medium high heat and I'm going to add half a stick of butter. We're going to let that guy melt. Like I said, full fat, full flavor, no diet. Sorry guys. And I'm going to add in two cups of chicken broth. And we're going to whisk, whisk, whisk. Then we're going to add in half a cup of regular flour. And we're going to continue to whisk this. We don't want to get it any lumps. We just want to make sure it's nice and smooth. We're creating a thick little base for our chicken pot pie. So I'm going to add in the rest of our chicken broth just a little tiny bit at a time. Keep on whisking away. We want to get this on the table quick because we are starving. So you guys can tell it's sauce got a little bit thicker. Now we're going to add in our secret seasonings. You probably have most of this stuff on hand already. Obviously, that's going to cut down on your cost. You just grab it from your pantry and throw it together. So this blend will work every single time that you do your pot pie. I'm going to add in a pinch of tarragon. I don't even measure that. It's literally just a pinch. And then I'm going to add in some celery seed, half a teaspoon. I know sometimes I, get, I don't tell you guys the measurements. I'm just like, oh, add this in, add this. I don't measure when I cook because you really don't have to. And I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of thyme. And then we're going to add in one generous teaspoon of pepper. Now, this is a crushed pepper blend. It's like a three pepper McCormick blend that I got at the store for a dollar. It's awesome. Use it for everything. And then we're going to give that a whisk so everything gets combined. And I was actually inspired to make chicken pot pie because there's a diner by me, as you guys know, that I'm from Jersey. You couldn't tell from my accent. <laughs> and they had the most disgusting pot pie I've ever had in my life. You guys thought I was going to say it was really delicious. It was really gross and inspired me to go home in the kitchen, put some ingredients together, figure out how we could make it fresh. Next are my super secret pot pie ingredients. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm going to add in a very, very generous little drop of sriracha. One of my favorite kitchen ingredients. I guess it would help if I opened the freaking thing. Okay. <laughs> and about, I'd say, hmm, more than one, about two or three drops. And then I'm going to add in some parsley. Didn't measure. Just about, I'd say that's like half a cup. And then some maple mustard. This is from Vermont. So delicious. It has like those grains from the mustard. It's kind of like honey mustard. So if you can't find it, use honey mustard. That's fine. I know it sounds weird, but all these flavor profiles are going to bring it together and it's going to be very delicious at the end. Grab your whisk. Stir away. So now we're going to add in our fun stuff, the main hearty ingredients. I'm going to do some red bliss potatoes, which I absolutely love. I'm obsessed. I'm going to have one right now. Mm, I'm starving. I just got done work. I can't wait to eat. Um, then we're going to add in some peas, which is, you know, you can't do a chicken pot pie without green peas in it. And this you can mix up if you guys want to add mushrooms and stuff like that. I didn't go crazy. I kept it as simple as possible because my budget, you know, kind of low. So I want to stick within the budget this week. I'm going to add in some chicken. Some people like to get boneless, skinless chicken breasts, but I prefer to get rotisserie chicken and then just shred it up because I like white meat. I don't want any dark meat in there. I don't want any bones. I just want really juicy, tender strips of chicken. Because sometimes if you put the boneless ones and you chop it up, it gets really chewy and dry and just, ugh, it's gross. I don't want that in my chicken pot pie. And then I'm going to add in some shallots. I just chopped up two shallots really small. You can also add in um, onions, you know, pearl onions if you want to do that. But I didn't feel like onions. These are really sweet and add a little hint of onion flavor, not too overpowering. And then we're just going to stir this mixture and cook it for about five minutes until it thickens up. As you can see, it's already very, very thick. Then we're gonna top it with our puff pastry, pop it in the oven, and dinner is ready. Okay, so I'm gonna make little individual portions because I hate big sloppy things that are big portions. I just, I don't know, I have this thing, I hate big portions. <laughs> like cute little tiny size individual things. It's a little fancier too. Okay, so we're gonna put, oh my God, I'm so extra. So we're gonna put some of our filling right in there. Oh my God, are you guys hungry or what? This is dinner on the table in like 15, 20 minutes, especially if you have all the veggies prepped and everything beforehand, so by the time you get home, just throw everything together. All right, let's put a little bit more chicken in there. I think it was cheap with the chicken. Let's chat about puff pastry for a minute. A lot of people are really intimidated about using it, but it comes in strips just like this. They're already, you know, this is the size they come in. So you just take a little strip off, Look, it fits perfectly on your individual size thing. Just grab some scissors and we're just going to trim the ends off. That way it's not all over the place when it's in the oven. And it's a little rustic. It's all good. We like it that way. And I want to put a heart right in the middle so we have a nice little design and that way people know it's seasoned with love. <laughs> so let's see if I can do this without jacking it up. You can also use a cookie cutter like most normal people would do, but I couldn't find one apparently. So this is going to work just as fine. 
And with the puff pastry, you can, you know, spend like all hours of the day baking one, like I did. Ha! Sorry, that was a crazy laugh. Let me calm down. Get excited about my Popeye. Or you could just buy one in the store. You know, I guess some people do that. <laughs> all right, so we're just going to put it right on top like that. Don't mind me. And that's all you have to do. When it comes out of the oven, I'm going to sprinkle it with parsley. That way it looks even prettier. But right now, we're going to pop it in the oven 400 degrees for 25 minutes. You can relax, have a little tea, unwind from your crazy day, and then dinner will be right on your table. I'm going to try a little bite of this, which, okay, I lied. I already tried a bite, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> Let me get some of this crust in here. I want some chicken, potatoes. Mmm, it's hot. Oh, oh my god, that is so freaking good. I wish I could do a throw down with the Bobby Flay because this bad boy right here, no competition. If you make this for somebody you love, they're going to love you forever. Trust me. And I was supposed to go to the gym tonight, but instead I went to heaven and I made this chicken pot pie. If you guys have any questions about the recipe, you can always contact me. Hope you do try it out. If you do, make sure you post a picture on my Facebook page. Hope you guys enjoyed this and have a delicious day.